Hey, welcome to Sneaker Show Podcast. We are three regular guys who like sneakers a lot, and this is where we get together weekly to chat about sneaker news and what's coming out and what we're wearing and what we're excited about. My name is Tim. I'm Tim Stone. I'm in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Who else do we got here this week, and what are you talking about? Let's go around. Young Tab checking in here. I will be your captain. <laughs> for this podcast cruise welcome to the jungle please keep your arms and legs in the ride at all times remain seated and have your seatbelt on thank you uh, i will be telling you about billy eilish air forces as well as the jungle please tell me you wear that hat to work to get respect that's how people don't know work at a captain. jungle cruise <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't work at a jungle cruise i would wear that to work it really sits nice you in your head. You do it then. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. I think it's all fitting on my it, head. It, it, it really only fits a true captain, you know. Where and did you get that hat, and what was your reaction when you saw it? I got it on a jungle cruise, Tim. Can't you read? <laughs> <laughs> and my reaction was, well, I am a captain, so I need the captain's hat. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Fredo? Howdy. Hi. What yeah, you got talked this to, week? Talked about some uh, some Air Force coming out. Um, there was one from Undefeated that is fairly early. And another one from Cole Bennett and Lyrical Lemonade. Lots of Air Forces. I have a couple pairs of dunks. We have an early look at the Halloween dunks. We have a chocolate and orange and white pair with the sickest suede on it stick around for the featured pairs we will be covering sneaker news next this is sneaker show podcast thanks for listening there is a youtube version so you can see that sweet jungle cruise hat on young tabby's head the link for our youtube is in the description of this episode now let's go sneaker show thanks for being here yeezy day guys you excited Yeezy Day happened. There's a day full of Yeezys. Nathan, do you like Yeezy Day? Well, that's a loaded question, don't you think? You know, I, I think the more important thing here is that Kanye West doesn't like Yeezy Day. <laughs> <laughs> that is the craziest part of all of this. Look at that is like, I cannot think of any Yeezy that's not on there. <laughs> you know, like, wow, that's got to be 80% of them. They put them all out. In one day, and it wasn't as easy to get any of them as one may have thought, but that's neither here nor there. There were tons of foam runners, red, black, mixed colors, 350s in the OG colorways, the actual turtle doves, 700s, V1, V2, V3. Now, that's for the rest of the world. What did we actually have access to in Canada? It wasn't looking good, bruv. <laughs> Yeah, every time I went on, like, I went on, like, every hour of the day, and there yes. was, like, nothing really good. Like, the best one that I thought there was that we got in Canada was, like, the Sesame 350. With a red um, stripe. Yeah, apart from those two, there wasn't really much. I was hoping that, like, either some slides or foam runners would come up, but we didn't get any. Same thing. I just kept checking that Adidas confirmed app, refreshing. And when I did see something I wanted, when I would consider it, when I was like, ooh, the Sesames, they were snapped up like that. And then like those Elvas were sitting there for, you have two and a half more hours to register. They're just sitting there like nobody wants them. Yeah, we, this, did not, we didn't get the good stuff. And uh, I checked before we started recording today, the Turtle Doves are selling for $700, $800. Maybe there weren't a ton available but they're still reselling you say kanye is not even a fan what is the story behind this he didn't come up with it yeah it doesn't sound that way i'm not going to read this whole message out loud but uh for my favorite's the end mm -hmm. yeah that's my favorite too i will read that last part i'll give him the gist and i'll read the end part so basically uh he goes on to say that adidas has made up the easy day idea he didn't want these all re-released or anything like that he doesn't seem too happy with anything that they're doing i mean we got to kind of take this with a grain of salt, though. We know who we're dealing with here, right? Like, he, he, he could have been all in on this and still sent this message. Like, 
<laughs> you don't know. You 100. just don't know what this guy. But anyways, he's got this really long paragraph about how uh, he's been lied to, and then uh, he just ends it off with, God, step in. <laughs> I feel like there's so many instances in my life where I'm going to start using that, thinking that, believing in that. God, step in right here, right now. Especially if there's situations you got yourself into by your own actions. Step in. I need you, homie. God, step That's in. That's how I'm going to start signing off on every email I send. <laughs> God, step in. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Sincerely, Fredo. God, step in. God did it. Yeah, they didn't believe us. God did. <laughs> New song out tonight. V visuals as well. <laughs> I bet you it slaps. I'm excited for it. Yeah. If we're talking about Kanye, and he looks good in all black and the rubber boots he does with the big face mask, he pulls off everything he does. It's know, not dude. that I can pull off everything he does. But I still like the classic Kanye. I would still dress like the classic Kanye. <laughs> this is the classic Kanye to you? It's pretty classic, I think. <laughs> this was like four years ago. This has got to be more than four years ago, isn't it? <laughs> what year do you think Classic it is Kanye right now? was wearing like vape and Polos that. and backpacks. Yeah. College dropout. I like Yeezy Kanye. Yeezus. Once he hit his Yeezus. Yeezus stride. That to me is a classic time in his life. The golden era. It must be tough for him to love the way he looks and then abandon that look to move on to the next thing. I would still be dressing like this today. Is this still a good outfit today? The shirt might be a little big for me, but everything else, man, I really like it. Am you're I wrong? Stepping, you're stepping out in this? Sure, I could even go to work like this. We're not altering garments here. I'm talking this exact outfit. Okay. <laughs> big shirt. It is a big shirt. Yeah. The one thing I'll give is those jeans are still a pretty good fit for right now. Hey, like not too tight, not too loose. Like that stack on the bottom, perfect. I'll draw off those. That works. So we're looking at Kanye in a pair of turtle doves, ripped up blue jeans. It's a big blue shirt and a heavy chain. He's sweating and performing. Maybe that's why I love it so much. It looks like happy Kanye. Like what song you think he's doing right here? <laughs> I know Fellas in Paris. <laughs> Aha. Okay, people in Paris. There's no other answer. That song goes too hard. <laughs> yeah, when you put this up in our chat and asked, is this still a good outfit? My reaction was, yeah, I, I think so. What, what, what do you <laughs> What do think? you mean? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by that? Why'd you bring it up otherwise? I don't know. I just think, has this aged well, is all my point was. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I Fair still want to be him. I do. Some shoes came out this week. What an interesting <laughs> guy laughs. Pair. Well, because he likes these. It's fun when we can all make our own decisions and then we come to our chat and some of us are like, could you believe anyone would buy these? And I was like, I just about did. I had my, I had them carded. <laughs> I was kidding. If I hadn't bought my son a basketball hoop this week, I would have bought these. This is a New Balance 2002R. It's the protection pack. So it's kind of got that ripped up look to it. I've always wanted the protection pack. These would have been a retail purchase. They are all white with gum soles and they're all dirty. They're scuffed up. They're some dusty MFers. I, I really want the protection pack. I'm going to get one or two pairs from it. This probably isn't the pair to get. It's not the perfect pair. I'll tell you why I like it. My favorite shoes right now, these are like my favorite pair right here. That's the shoes I wear the most. They are beat up, nasty. They're almost the same shoes as what we're looking at. It's just a pair of like Reebok workouts, but I've put 10,000 kilometers into these. And they're all dusty and nasty, just like the pair in the picture. So I was like, I love shoes like that. Why wouldn't I buy a brand new pair like that? Nathan, why wouldn't I buy a pair of those? Because they're already cooked. Because you can buy those Reeboks all cooked up. Hmm. These are like beep, beep. This is like past the point of distress. And I couldn't imagine what love you have for the protection pack that you were actually considering buying this pair mm. just to have something out of that pack. 
the only good thing about this though is if you wear them you don't have to worry about getting them dirty you can just beat them up even more can i ask you this but if you're not worried about getting your shoes dirty then just get a regular pair and get them dirty when you bought the neutral gray 85s did you buy them brand new no they were in better shape than these though that's for sure (laughs) because they look better worn in my, look, I bought them used because they were a better priced use, and I was going to wear them all the time. They were still as white as they needed to be, as gray as they needed to be. Yeah. There wasn't even a whole lot of creases on the toe box even. It was a financially responsible choice. Okay, and they look better than a crisp pair right out the box. For me, these Reeboks, the best wear I've got in them has been recently, not the first couple years in them. So these ones, the New Balance... You're starting at this phase. You're already happy with them. But these are beyond beat. If my 85s look like this, I'd throw them out. (laughs) And if you compare this shoe to the 85 Jordan High that's a little bit worn in, I don't know. These look like a lunch lady shoe. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) They do kind of have that nurse Someone who doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that's the Tim Stone look, boy. (laughs) (laughs) No, this is pretty much the 85 high. You're right. Thank you. Okay, we're in agreement. Let's move on. And for those of you listening, if you threw up in your mouth when he said that, I did too. <laughs> All right. All right. We're not going to agree on everything. It was so Especially funny when I checked the, the Instagram chat and Nathan's like, who would spend money on this? And I'd already sent to our text chat, I almost scooped these today. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> The next... I, hadn't, I hadn't read that one yet, if it makes you feel better. No, no, and really, we want honesty. I don't want to just do things because you think they're cool and vice versa. We're talking about... <laughs> if you did, you'd have a lot more wrestling shirts. Yeah, that's all I would have. <laughs> Off-white Air Forces. The ones that are connected to museums specifically. Following the release of the green pair, Nike is now doing a gray version Fredo, tell me what you know about these, please. Um, I don't think there's a ton of information on them yet. Um, like you said, it's another like museum pair. Um, these ones are supposed to drop in Paris. There's not really any f- like good photos of them yet. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think drop- it'll be pretty standard to be like the other colors that they've done, but I don't know. Probably where- another one of those that we'll never get our hands on. Sorry, where are these dropping? <laughs> Where Kanye did that song? Yeah. In Paris. Gotcha. Cool. Where the boys are. Sneakers. Nikes in Paris. Grails, right? Any of these off-white forces, it's not something you wear. It's something you put in a safety deposit box, isn't it? I would like the yellow pair. I would love the yellow pair. Like to wear? Are you Odell Beckham? What are you doing? I'd wear them. Really? I would pay resale for them and wear them. Except resale is way too high for my price point right now. Well, see, see, the trick is you get a little used pair. <laughs> Man, if these were already broke in, I'd be excited. All right. Stussy. Air Max. The next Air Max with Stussy. It's not the Air Max 90. It's not the Air Max 1. Air Max has been hot this year. It's not the 95s. It's not the 97s. Does anyone have love for the Air Max 2013? What a year. Yeah. (laughs) Nathan, you're the guy who uh, brought these to us. Can you share what you know? Um, I can. There's an apparel collection that's going to go along with these, and it's actually some pretty cool stuff. Um, Yeah, Nike and Stussy are back at it again. They brought us some heat out the gate with that Air Force One low, and boy, has it gotten bad ever since. You had the Force, right? Like the sort of... I uh, did. I did, yeah. I had different that, material. You said it was mad half. uncomfy, didn't you? It was, yeah. I got the 10 and a half and everything. Like, I wear true to size Air Forces, you know. You know how you do. And uh, I was super excited. Um, I really liked them. They were such a cool color. I wore them the first pop-up we did for our first day, 
and I've never had foot pain like that at the end of the day. I've never been so happy to take a pair of shoes off my feet. Like, you could have sold me on a pair at the pop-up just to get those off. They were <laughs> so bad. I literally sold them, like, right after that weekend. Just got them out of there. Yeah, anyways. you had them gone by the next Friday. I remember I, that. Yeah, I knew I never wanted to wear them again. They just hurt so bad. So, yeah, if you get those, maybe go a half size up. Couldn't hurt. It's like a leather insole and like lining and then that material itself is like really stiff and and then like it it didn't it wasn't as comfy as an air force one should be and i wore it because i was going to be on my feet all day and it hurt standing at a pop-up next to all these shoes that you could be wearing when you're wearing something you hate wearing all you're thinking is like i'm selling these the second i can yeah so we're looking at a black pair a pink pair and they got that sort of sail bone color that they used on the Spyrodons as well. Oh, I forgot about those. That was the first pair. That was the COVID shoe, man. Yeah. The, I, I'm in the house. With the wacky heel on it? Yeah. Yeah, those were big money. People so, dying them. Stussy keeps trying. I don't know. Uh, maybe these will be different in hand. I got I'll be so shit for retail. <laughs> I wouldn't mind the pink pair. Yeah, I we think. are in the market for pink. Pushing pink. Here's one to be excited about. We have official, official, we have official pictures. 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 Ama Manier is doing a Jordan 4. It's about where you're going, it says on the tag. Guys, we've been waiting for this. We've suspected it's coming. Here it is. Are you happy with Ma what Manier's done on the 4? Don't you think it's crazy how they always have some like Forrest Gump quote somewhere on the shoe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a uh, wild considering all those like mock-ups and i use this in quotation in hand looks we've mm -hmm. seen a couple of weeks ago uh not a bad shoe hey like i don't i don't look at this and go i need it like whatever it costs i don't care but like i do enjoy it i think it's good but i think it's the worst of like the four that they've done now worse than the 12 well apart from the 12 that's hard to make it 12 anything between like the one two three and four you put the twos over these yeah whoa i think these could have been a lot better done i mean if they fell in my lap for retail i'd absolutely wear them they're so like solid but i don't know between like one two three and four i think these are the worst i'd almost put these over the ones that color is just so good it'd be just so easy to throw on and stuff yeah, it's more of that like um, burgundy color that they're known for. It's that same maroon that's on all of their pairs. You like these better than the ones. I think the ones with the cracked sort of leather suede looks really nice. These would be easier to wear, I think. Hmm. But yeah, that's fair. Like a, like a big kind of like bright block. You gotta, yeah, like you gotta white. like base it around that. It's white and burgundy, man. It's not like it's like white and gray or white and black. But... Uh, yeah. I agree with you, Fredo. Just very plain, very simple. Uh, we, we're we're expecting a lot. They're trying to be classy. It's hard to do a lot and be classy at the same time. But it, if it wasn't a manier, if this was just a general release, is it something that people would get excited about? I don't know. It doesn't pop to me. Here's just a funny thing about Jordan 4s. You know how... Uh, Nike SBs go on sale at skate shops and sometimes they want to find out if you're a real skateboarder. And they'll be like, you got to pull up and do a kickflip if you want to enter this raffle. <laughs> God, this is so funny. Hey, when the SB Air Jordan 4s drop, I hope y'all skaters been working on your jump shot, jump shot and defense. Because I'm going to need these skate shops to keep that same do a skate trick to enter the raffle energy. That, God damn, made me right away picture not just people pulling up and doing jump shots, but <laughs> like just kick flipping them off and the jump shotting at the same 100%. Time. Yeah. So Tim lives like five minutes from a nine times and also just bought a basketball hoop. I use this in quotations <laughs> for his son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I see what's going on here. Gotta be ready. Training started yesterday. Okay, so we're just uh, running out of time for this segment. You're not even going to notice it, but we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back with the featured pairs. We have so many Air Forces to talk about. Two pairs from Billie Eilish. Fredo has a couple of Air Forces, and I got some dunks to talk about. We're already looking at the Halloween dunks. Quick break.
Be right back. Ah, we're back. Ah, we're staying in it. So many Air Forces to talk about. I don't know if Billie Eilish has put out shoes that I'm excited about yet. Nathan, are you telling me there are exciting Billie Eilish sneakers coming out, sir? I am telling you exactly that, Tim. Uh, almost in the same lineage as those uh, Stussy Air Forces we were just talking about. We got a nice tan and we got a nice black. All the same color. We've got this, uh, it looks like quilted stitching with like different pieces of fabric all over it and still quilted. So that's cool. Um, I like tan pair. I feel like these may be a little more comfier than <laughs> maybe the uh, Stussy pair was. Uh, so I'd be in the market for that tan pair. There's no release date on these yet. I'm hoping they're maybe a little bit easier to get because I don't know if anybody's just all hyped up about Billie Eilish anymore either, to be honest with you. Maybe I'm out of touch, though. Who knows? Um, yeah, yeah, that's that. So we'll update you guys when we get a little more information on these. But we're excited with these leaked images, I'm sure. Agree. Exciting looking shoes. Be worth a shot. I love that uh, patchwork. And I am an old out of touch white guy, too. But I, I think Billie Eilish is very much a thing. She might not be on the radio, but her concerts are she sells a million tickets in a year. People live and die for her. I just, uh, when I look at what she wears, I go, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you're doing what you like to do, but I've never seen her and been like, ooh, she's got that shit on. Look at her, you know? I bet you she'd wear those beat-ass New Balances. Hell yeah. That'd be the first time I'm like, I got you. I get it. All right, hey. I see it. <laughs> Fredo, you love forces. How do you feel about these? Yeah, these are hard. I'm not much of like a black Air Force or just like anything with a black outsole, but I would definitely wear the black pair too. Um, I think that tan one's definitely the go-to, though. She had some, like, apparel that was okay recently, too. Hoodies that were this color. Real simple looking. Yeah, like a sideways yeah. swoosh on them. Yeah. I did see those. I seen those in person, even, yeah. All right. Well, let's stay close on these Billie Eilish joints. That might be a scoop. Next up in the Air Forces this week, Lyrical Lemonade. Yeah, so Cole Bennett, who is like the creator of Lyrical Lemonade, um, has teamed up with Nike for an Air Force. Um, super basic colorway, basically just white leather with a yellow swoosh, and then the Ly Lyrical Lemonade logo towards the heel. Um, it's got that crazy box. These are apparently supposed to drop in the future. Um, it's rumored that they could be a Chicago exclusive. I personally don't see them releasing, but that's just me. I hope they do, because I'd love to get my hands on a pair, but what do you guys think of these? Hot. It's a good shoe. I love that little milk carton lemonade juice box logo of theirs on the heel. The yellow the really lemonade pops. carton? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was an easier way of saying the same thing. Um, <laughs> they got some pretty big people signed to them. Do they not? Yeah, th well, he's... I think he's more and almost like almost more known for like the music videos that he does. Right. Um, I know he just did that Doja one with Central C, um, which is like one of the biggest songs right now. Um, Nardo Wick. But yeah, super dope. Oh, Minions. They did the Minions song with Yeet. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Minions is huge. You see Minions, Tim? I have children. All we watch is Minions. No, the new the new one. Gru? Of course, yeah. The When Gru's a kid? Yeah. 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 Good stuff. I liked it. Yeah, you would. You're a child. <laughs> no, you're just old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we got next? Air Forces? What's this? Um, yeah, so these are the new undefeated pair that's supposed to be coming out. Um, basically just a full patent leather, like rainbow multicolor. Um, they remind me a lot of the Easter Air Forces from like back in 06. Um, there's like no info on these yet. This is like a super early look, but I think they're sick. Better color blocking than the Easter pair, I think. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm 
I'm not much of a patent leather guy, but I would love a pair of these. I think they're sick. Very well done, Shu. The undefeated Jordan 1, the blue and red one that's all patent. People got love for that pair, hey? Yeah, this uh, this is something exciting. You'd have to love it, though, man, to wear patent. Yeah, that's how I am with us. Yeah. We got another patent pair coming up here. First, let me tell you about these. You guys ready to move on? Yeah, apparently. Moving quick. Nike Dunk Low, the SB kind, the fat tongue. This is a pair from Crushed, a skate shop in Washington, D.C. The details. Look at that suede, that chocolate color. It looks so fuzzy. And the swoosh has this like marbling effect. I'm all about these nice white tongue. It's on that simple eggshell white base. Then the uh, overlay has that suede chocolate look. And then there's this orange sort of creamsicle everywhere on it. The soles are orange tinted. And it's that, what do they call it again? Like speckled? Yeah, it's the Nike grind material. I think they use some recycled materials and it gets that speckle in it. I love the way it looks. I really like these a lot. Instead of having Nike SB, they got the crushed skate shop logo in a couple of spots. Even the, uh, the little tip on the shoelaces has that marbling effect and it comes on all the pairs of laces, orange, white, and chocolate brown. So I like the way these look. I would like to scoop them <clears throat> really reminds me of the dunks that came out for Halloween last year. Nathan has a pair. And Thanks to we, Tim. Hey, plug came through. We really quickly have a look at another patent leather pair. This is the Halloween dunk that's coming out. It looks like the reverse shattered backboard blocking. So it's just a white and orange Syracuse looking dunk. Has the black swoosh on it, but it is shiny patent leather so that's what i know guys um what do you think do you like either of these dunks the suede oh. on that first pair looks nuts big agree um i don't know why they did a green like inside of the tongue but i feel like there's a reason and it's probably sick um, I don't like that Halloween pair. I don't know why. I feel like for like an actual like holiday themed shoe, they could have done it like a lot more Halloween based. But I don't know they turned out clean. I mean, the upside to that is you don't have to stomp around with like a pumpkin or a ghost on your shoe in like winter time, or you know. Literally any other time of the year that's not Halloween. So I see the angle there. But yeah, this these would be a lot better if it maybe wasn't patent leather. Yeah, I agree. That's all. Those laces look like ribbon too. Yeah, I was going to say, something different about the laces on these orange ones. They're real silky, slippery looking. They're made out of do-rags. <laughs> <laughs> Lace up. Question... For you, the listener, Sneaker Show Podcast, do you like weird shoes? Please get in touch. My Instagram's Tim Stone Show. Do you like weird shoes? There's this weird pair out. I can't get enough of them. It was Fredo who first brought them to us. This pair that Jimmy Fallon's doing with Mischief, the gumball shoes. Straight gob, up. Gob stomper, they were calling it. Yeah, that's the I had them carded, dude, and I just could not justify like the duties and fees and shipping. How much are we talking by the time it gets to you? I think it was like 300 US. E US. Which I was like, I don't know. Total? If, yeah. yeah. But I was like, I don't know. I'll probably come to like four Canadian and for like, I don't know, a shoe that's like this that I'm just going to intentionally like screw up. I don't know if I could do four bills. Straight up, they look all right. They look really good, just like this. And that worn in, scuffed up thing, it is psychedelic, man. It's. I would do that immediately. 
Yeah. That's the issue. Th- that's not even worn in. I saw somebody, like a video of somebody doing this. Yeah, they had like a straight a up power tool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they get the Dremel out. That's yeah. what I would have did. Yeah. Then you're doing that thing where you're trying to make it look like you're not trying to make it look like something. Like, that's tough to do. Respect to people who just, like, skate them or, or wear them in, but very cool idea that we've seen wear away before but the levels that gobstopper level of it 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 gets to a different color the further you go down rad man so maybe if you're into like air max 2013s or (laughs) pre-distressed new balance if you're into weird shoes we want to hear about it reach out anytime sneaker show podcast instagram young tabasco 403 fredo there's no, don't reach out to Nathan. I'm not looking for any more friends. No new friends, but, uh, you can message us and there's links in the description where you can find the connection to YouTube as well. Let's get weird together. We really appreciate you listening. If you got something to say, you got a question, you want to be on the show, shout out, let's connect. Fellas, do you have something to look forward to this week? What's the next thing you're going to purchase? I um, wish I could tell you. <laughs> I'm excited to get my off-white blazers back. Ew. Um, I should have them back by the end of the weekend. Um, maybe we'll throw some picks in next week. But The blazers. It's got it's that Swiss cheese pair. look. Yeah, it's got that like spoiler attached to the back. What'd you Some do? Holy shoe. I took the holy spoiler shoe. wing looking thing off the back. Good call. Um, I reaged the outsole on it, and then I coffee dyed the off white laces, like the white ones that come in it. And then oh, I those came with the... it. Yeah, they were just white, um, like the ones that were in it. And then it had like the secondary lace. I don't even know what you'd call it. Yeah, I like that climbing that like rope a... thing or whatever. Yeah, I switched it for <laughs> like a kind of like a Travis Scott like the rope. rope lace. Um, and then I'm just waiting to get them back because the red swoosh on it is getting painted black. Chef Fredo. Okay, cool. Well, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep, we'll keep close to you. I want to see how that turns out. Nathan, you made some money recently. You're in the selling vintage business. How's tricks? (laughs) Tricks. How's how's selling the cereal? Going? Yeah, the cereal. <laughs> it's for kids, man. Um, it's good. It's real good. Yeah, anybody that knows me, which is not a lot of people, because I don't want any new friends. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they do know I love a good vintage tea, and I love uh, hunting for vintage teas. So there's some of them there that you just like. You know, you got something good, but maybe it's not your size, or maybe it's just something you wouldn't wear. Um, I took a big old bundle up to our friends at from another shout out Tom and the crew. They're always fantastic to, uh, pop in and chop it up with. Doesn't even feel like you're doing any sort of business. Just feels like you're just vibing, just living dude. L I V I N. But, uh, yeah, so that was really good. It was good to see them as well. Um, got a couple, uh, fun new things. Uh, yeah, sold a few things. And so now that gives some money to buy a few new things as well. And uh, yeah, with that, I have some wave runners in the mail. Weird turn of event. Bought these before Yeezy Day, just so you know I'm better than everybody. Um, <laughs> I wasn't doing any of that Yeezy Day stuff, but I was still buying Yeezys. Be my first pair of personal Yeezys. I finally caved. Um, but I am on the record very openly saying I do believe that that is the best Adidas Yeezy. So if anything, I'm just, you know, living up to my words. That's all. But I'm excited to get those in hand. Another good pair to just throw on and beat around in That's, bro uh, i hope it's your new favorite pair i hope you go full yeezy i hope you're like i was wrong i'm yeah, all about it i'm gonna sell all my wrestling shirts and just come in that full larry hoover blue fit yeah <laughs> it's gonna be it big old boots uh, speaking of big old boots in sneaker news in my life there is a young man on this job site that i'm at and he wears these big waterproof black boots up to his knees every day of the MF and week. So naturally, uh, 
we noticed this after it was like raining really hard but as people know it does get real hot in medicine hat like i'm talking it's been no less than 30 for like the past two weeks like 30 to 38 that has been the scale real hot so one day i just had to ask and i was like what's with the boots <laughs> like those gotta be like, dry can't be, up. <laughs> that can't be good. yeah it's like bone dry outside like you could spill water on the ground and it would be gone in it sizzles. two minutes yeah, two, yeah. <laughs> and you got these rubber boots on dude and he's like oh i wear them all the time and i'm like well i see that yeah <laughs> no <laughs> shit i am asking That's why we're talking yeah yeah and if you're wondering what we refer to this guy as at work it's boots um and i just want to yeah. encompass that uh, this is not somebody employed at the same place i am this is just merely somebody that works at a facility that we go to from time work to time. work adjacent yeah yeah I, w I wouldn't even use the word colleague but anyways he's like i wear them all the time and i'm like that doesn't get hot and he's like well a little bit and like this guy's sweating like he'll go have lunch and come back with like body spray on <laughs> like like you'll see him at the end of the day and he'll he will have sweated through his car hearts and that's ah. like a lot of that's a lot of sweat dude you can throw a bucket um, of water on car hearts it doesn't even get wet dude it's yeah, nuts that and he can even get that far Here's boots here, just soaked, but just drenched, man. Just a soldier in his boots, like Kanye. But, uh, and he's like, yeah, well, you know, it's just some days at work you get all wet and they don't let you, like, go get changed or anything. So I just always have these on, and then it's, like, not so bad. I'm like, it hasn't <laughs> rained in, like, three weeks. I know. And he's like, oh, like, I literally wear them all year round all the time. We're like, that's messed up. Like, and not only that, but they're super heavy. I don't know if you've ever lifted up a big steel toe rubber boot, but, like, could you imagine just how many of his problems would be solved if he just wore like regular boots? Like he probably has like sweaty, yeah. wouldn't have to drink as much water, wouldn't stink. People might actually respect him. Like <laughs> there's just so many benefits, right? Like your hip flexors must be sore. Like he's getting strength in parts of your body that shouldn't work that hard. And the answer to why do you wear those boots all the time should not be, oh, I wear them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, good, good for shout good out for, boots shout out boots uh, yeah that's absolutely uh his nickname boots yep so that's uh what else do you call a guy like that though so after that i don't know if he's a little self-conscious about it now or what it is but uh and again i don't <laughs> probably know is... dude you called the note on it <laughs> okay but who's the asshole everybody that's standing there going look at this guy in the boots or me going like so what's the deal like what's yeah. the like what's with the boots like, if he would have honestly just been like you know like uh, i just started these are all i've got i'm just waiting for payday i'm gonna go get myself a set of boots and i'd be like you know what? fair enough man we've all been there but like this guy's like been working you know what i mean like this is that would have been adorable to see you turn around and go hey everybody we're gonna stop making fun of this guy all right guys don't he's just make trying his fun best. of him yeah don't yeah he's we're all our best is different every day and we need to be more mindful and yeah i would have turned around and be like oh it's good to fight he's broke <laughs> <laughs> this guy's scared of snake bites <laughs> i'm scared of snake bites so i couldn't throw that at him but uh where was i going with that um oh so yeah what he's doing now is he's just wearing his pants over top of him so now picture oh, no one notices <laughs> Like he's not even wearing them at all. Stealth mode. These just look like right. He's in the mirror. Like yeah, these. Yeah, that's regular, regular boot. No one will notice. No one will notice. So you can imagine what his leg looks like. <laughs> Some yeah. wide leg car hearts. It's a bad time to be boots. Yeah. Shut up, boots. <laughs> Welp. Anyways, what have you guys been wearing lately? boots has been wearing boots i have been wearing uh just shorts really small short shorts okay cut that bit or no shoes. okay sorry <laughs> uh yeah i get to hear about your budgie smugglers <laughs> it's hot man my air conditioning stopped <laughs> yeah. working on a really hot day uh i don't know yeah, if you know anything you call? about that yeah yeah <laughs> you a dabble have you ever experienced anything like that? God, it's a <laughs> it's a tough one when you're trapped at home with COVID and it's 35 that day and you walk over to the, the vent and there's air coming out, but it's hotter than the sun. Like it was like I was heating the house. So that, yeah, on the August long weekend. So sure, I was stuck at home with COVID during a heat wave, but at least the AC quit. 
I am looking forward to getting back to work and being a normal person and putting clothes and shoes on again, like showering every day, that kind of stuff. I miss it. I do. What am I going to buy? Yeah, I, I would really like some, um, some shoes to get this season going. Do you know that feeling where you're like, I want to really get this season going? Have you ever felt that way? My excuse a, right um, now is it's back to school in a month. So <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, we've got a month left of summer, too. <laughs> Are you going to be in a school teaching in the fall? Yeah. And do you want to have like some back to school fits because you don't want to be seen in the same stuff from last year? Uh, Yeah. I got a couple lined up. We'll see. Hey. It's a you lot of uh, it's a lot of essentials and sneakers. So you're at a new school though too, so this, the kids yeah. still need to see that stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All your old stuff is new again, but yeah, you got to set the tone. You're that cool teacher. It's like the Wiggles, man. It just never times out for kids because there's always new kids to listen to the Wiggles. Facts. Right. You keep right. getting older. They stay, they stay the, same the same age. age. Yeah. That's quotation true. from the Wiggles. <laughs> was it Barney or the Wiggles that said that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, shout out Dora the Explorer and uh, the Wiggles. Guys, any more shout outs? Boots. I mean, that guy. Fooling yep. everybody. <laughs> Boots might be in the trenches. The first conversation I had with Boots, he just uh, looked over at me one day. We were both up on a ladder and he's like, you ever buy any cryptocurrency? And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, no. And then he's like, I did. And I was like, oh. And then just kind of went back to what I was doing. And uh, and then he proceeded to tell me about how he maybe has bought cryptocurrency that nobody should have bought. But he didn't say that. I These are my own judgment calls. And then uh, he's got a lot of boots money tied up in that, let's just say. And maybe it's not going so well for him. It's so funny when people think, oh, like, I don't know this guy's name. This. And that's boots. what he opens up with. Yeah, yeah. boots. But like when they say, hey, you want to talk about this thing? And you're like, I'm not interested. And then some time passes and they go, well, so I bought some crypto. And you're like, yeah, I, I get that. That's why you want to talk go, about it. Don't you go talk to a therapist, dude. Like I have <laughs> headphones on. I don't want to hear about your shit. Yeah, you keep doing the No, literally, literally, like literally, because he's like, hey, hey. and I'm like, <laughs> it's like I was saying about crypto. <laughs> I'm just pr like, and at that point, I'm just praying to God we get a service call. That was the only reason I'm there. I'm like, get me out of here. <laughs> I gotta go. I think I got a snake bite. Yeah. All right. You rubber bastard. What else have you been wearing? <laughs> Boots. Um, I've had a lot of Air Maxes actually. Got the uh, that Concepts pair. The shit. What's up? The one we all have. The oh yeah, the heavy. Ones. Yeah, those. Yeah, ones. I think yeah. that's what it's called. Heavy. Yeah. I had those on. I had the blue paddas on. I've had the my coffee dyed heritage ones, the reds on. Um, I've had the eighty five neutral grays, which is pretty well a beat New Balance. Honestly, if you boil it down, I've had those on. Same thing, yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of been it. Were you wearing Chicago Bulls apparel with the Heritage ones? Oh God, no! I thought I saw some like black and red shorts on you with those yeah, Milwaukee's. Got... You matching your shoes to your tools, bro? <laughs> I may as well be. Yeah, yeah. Milwaukee out at work. Um, no, the shorts I had on are they're uh, they're called like what the Mike shorts, and then so each panel of the short is like a different team he played on. That's why one was blue and one was red, and. The back has a different color. And, yeah. I love seeing you in shorts, bro. I love it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, man, sometimes getting together is tough, you know? This COVID I came down with, just the worst timing. We were really set up to have a big Saskatchewan experience. There's going to be some in person podcasting with people around Stoon. And it just didn't work out. So we're playing the cards we've got. And uh, and I'm, I'm just happy to still be playing the game. So uh, we're here weekly. We're talking about what's coming out, what we're wearing, sneaker news. And we appreciate you being on the other side of it. Maybe one day we'll get back together in person. I don't know. I'm really happy with what we're doing as it is. And if I get to see him press the flesh, that's even better. But uh, that kind of crushed my dreams there, that COVID. Yeah, that was a real good timing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, at least you didn't have a suitcase full of outfits that you narrowed down ready to go. <laughs> and, like, didn't clean your vehicle out or, like, put a full tank of gas in it or anything like that or, you know, like, do all those things. I was picturing all of the thought you put into your outfits and on the Friday I'll wear this and Saturday. I guess I could wear two fits on Saturday. And if we're going to record multiple podcasts, I have to have different. <laughs> and, and then, then just, just flush. <laughs> covid I, yeah tim's got covid i had to look at what year it is man that's it's a weird <laughs> it's just a all i'm saying is it's just a really weird way to get us to not come visit you okay like, i was really like grasping at straws like how am i gonna get out of this yeah COVID. people so still get that yeah oh covid yeah covid yeah yeah i seen something about seventh wave that's i got it yeah yeah i started I almost, it. yeah i almost would have believed you more if you said you brought it back box. yeah <laughs> Here's Tim. Yeah, guys, so uh, Ebola's going around. Don't come out this weekend. Yeah, I'm vintage about my diseases, all right? I'm just really worried about AIDS. You guys should stay in medicine. Hat. I got SARS, and I can't gonna have shake the bubonic it. plague the next yeah. time we plan don't, a trip out there. Tim's going to be like, don't bring your blankets. There's smallpox in them. <laughs> but we'll try again. Maybe we'll, uh, nah, we won't even consider it. <laughs> That's it. Yep. You had your chance. Yeah. Whatever. Don't DM I, me. I blew this so bad. I'm going to have to just meet you guys next time. I'll come to you. <laughs> this counts as your visit. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you later. <laughs> I appreciate the friendship. I, uh, I do regret that not everything's working out, but phew, that's what friends are for. You guys roll with it. So, unless you got more to say, save it for next week anyway. That's Sneaker Show Podcast. Thanks for listening. Peace. We outie.